Okay, hi everybody. Uh, this is Teacher Vance, and with me is... Bobby Bear. Yay, Bobby Bear. Okay, we're in Penang, Malaysia, and we're doing uh, a little thing on Minecraft. Looks like this is a very good time. It's morning. Um, we are in Discord. We're talking to you in Discord. Uh, we use the Discord channel to talk to each other in world, and that's what we're doing right there. So this is the this is our Discord channel, EVO Minecraft. Uh, we're in Playground Three, and if you go to the Missions for Minecraft uh, homepage, and you click on Discord down here, you'll see there are uh, instructions to use. Join the voice server. And our invitation is right here. So if you find that, you can click there and you can join this channel. Okay, so, um, so much for that. Let's see, we're, it's nine o'clock in the morning on the server. And Bobby and I are going to, well, I have to show you what we're gonna do uh, while I can manipulate the map. And so we're here at what we call the Ark. There's the Ark right over here. We're both about to, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our house. It's a what I call a castle. Uh, this was our kind of original base, and we're going to show you how to get there. Here's our here's the castle right there. It's in a nice area. It's opposite some terracotta fields. Zidche has a home up in the mountains up here. There's a nearby village, and there's uh, lots of interesting things. There are lots of ways to get there. Uh, we can take a path here, or we can, whoops, we can go uh, and just, okay, yeah. So we can we can take this path. There's a steps going down there. I might go that way this time. Uh, we can cross the river there, or we can go there, cross the river over here. Maybe I'll go that way. And um, go to our house. Okay, so... We are here in the corner, and we'll just track our progress as we go there. So, Bobby, are we ready to go? I'll put ready to go. Ready to go. Okay, I'll put uh, a sword in my hand to venture out. It's ten o'clock in the afternoon. It's a nice day, sunny day. Uh, we got some sheep here. We've been uh, breeding more sheep in our pen. We put a lot of sheep in the area around there. Okay. On our way, Bobby. Are you coming? I'm coming. All right. Okay. I guess I'm going to follow the path. That's probably the best way to do it. Just the path. It's very obvious. All these nice sheep here. Um, I don't know, Bobby. Do you want to make more sheep? Sure. Okay. Why don't you make a couple more sheep? Go find some sheep and make some more sheep. Okay. Okay, let's see. I need another sheep. I need two sheep. Here comes. I'll get that guy. Okay. She's putting her oh. wheat in her hand, and she's. You can just click on them both. And that, that's one. You got one, and the other one. Yes. Oh, isn't this beautiful what they're doing there? Okay, now we have an extra sheep. Okay, so we like to do that as often as we can. But for right now, it's noon, and we want to get to our house. So we'll, we're showing you the way. So we follow these torches here, and uh, just stay on the path. If you stay on the path, you generally know where you are. And also, um, if you get killed along the way, then you can find your death chest there. So it's usually easy to get back to your death chest if you stay on the path. Okay, so there's lots of things here we haven't really explored. Looks like there might be a mine down there. Um, might be, yep, it looks like it. It's going to be very dark in there. Let's so come back and explore that later one day. Okay, right now we're on an agenda. Well, there's some coal right here. So I don't, let's leave it for now. But Keep your eyes open. You might see things like that. So we're going. Okay. We're going to. There are a couple of ways we can go. I've got a, a way down there, which is kind of a direct way to our house. But then there's another way over here. And uh, oh yes, that one. That one goes across the river. And um, this one is a little bit 
they'll cross the river, but this one is a little easier to follow. So follow the steps, and there are some more steps here. Here's the steps right there. Okay, so just follow the steps, get a running start, take a jump into the water, whee! Okay, and then we'll come up where those torches are over there. Oh, there's a squid. Oh, nice, okay. Ah, I have big teeth in that squid, but they don't hurt you. Okay, so let's see, there's Bobby, okay. Did you see the squid, Bobby? I did. All right. It's kind of scary looking. Yeah, I think if you hurt them, you can get ink sacks from them. We have a, a mine here that we actually have built down into. There's a path going down. I'm not going to take it today, but uh, the, the torch is right there. There's a path going down. So we've had a look down there. But anyway, you can always find more things if you go there yourself. And um, so right now we're looking for our house. I think, do I see it in the distance? Okay, you have to be careful. Here's, there it is, there's our house. Okay, so uh, these paths go in various places. You can see it on the map over here to, uh, <coughs> to my right. Okay, and looks like it's 1500, which is a nice time to come and maintain things at the house. We've grown a lot of trees. All those red-leafed oak trees were planted, I think, uh, just recently. Um, so we try to practice um, sustainable growth. So if we take trees, we try to uh, try to replace them. And is that something over there? No, that's just a that's a cobweb in this tree, I think. Oh, mm -hmm. I, and this tree I, has an eye. Oh, which one? Oh yes, okay. Yes, uh -huh. opens and closes. Yeah. And figured it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's something that was that's there on on the uh, the Halloween pack. So this is our house, and uh, all these trees here and some outside we've planted. We've made everything here using whatever materials we find, and we've planted a garden here, and the garden has carrots and wheat. We've started really getting into wheat lately and of course if you take any wheat it's always good to replant and there's some carrots over here I'll just take a couple of carrots and I'll replant the carrots as well so uh, we have a lot of sheep there Bobby do you want to shear some sheep or multiply sheep sure okay We've been putting wool in here. There are a couple of beds. You can easily make beds. Um, there's a crafting table here. So if you have some wood, like um, like that wood, and you have sticks. I don't know if I have any sticks here. Let's, oh, no, there's two sticks there, but I'll just make some more sticks. Okay, so um, if you have... Oh, I, I think actually all you need is some planks. There's some... That's a log. These are planks, so you can make planks from logs, of course. So you take a log and you make planks like that. Okay, so um, once you've got planks and you've got wool, then you can make beds. So there you go. So anyway, here there are a lot of sheep and, um, and there's our house. Uh, I made it out of terracotta. I got the terracotta from across the way. We might go and have a look at it in a little bit. Uh, one thing you can do with um, with wool is you can make um, carpets. So if you put two wools together side by side, then you can make a carpet, which you can set on fence posts and you can easily cross. Okay. Um, this is what we do with what we get from the garden. We put it in here. So uh, let's see if I need to get rid of anything. No, 64 carrots are there. And um, in the house, we have things that really are kind of our personal things. There's anything in boxes outside are for people to take. Anything in the house, you should probably ask first if you if you want to take things. But there's 
a lot of terracotta here. I replenish it every now and then. I go, I'll show you where I get it. Um, there are uh, there's there are minerals there. Um, I don't see any minerals that I need to get rid of. Okay, so there over here there's some things like fence posts which I don't need right now, and I've got a couple here. So uh, I'll just put those away. Let's try to clear things out of. Uh, what I'm carrying in my hands. I don't really need a crafting table right now, so I'll put that up there too. And that makes more spaces for me to put things that I need. Okay, um, shall I just show you around the house? Um, there's a dormitory upstairs, and there's a, a back door. Make sure you close any doors. There are definitely some monsters living around here. And there's a dormitory. And uh, there's a kind of a landing up here, which you can makes a nice landing in the daytime. Um, let's see, I'm not, I don't think there's a way into the, oh, there might be. Yes, I think there's a way into the central stairway here. Um, I'll just jump. Okay, there we go. Didn't really cost me anything. I was thinking at one point to put a another um, another set of terracotta or something. So there's even a higher place. You can look out and see what's around. We've got these trails go out to the village, which is over there. So we, we light up the trails. And let's see, there are the trails we came in on. Um, that trail goes off toward the terracotta. We came in on this other trail over here, I believe. Uh, that one into our back garden. So we came down that way. And we light things up at night so that we can uh, we can see uh, if we get if we're out at night because uh, we need to see where we're going. And if you get stuck at night and you can't see where you're going, then you might end up with a death chest wherever it is, whatever you're trying to avoid catches you. Okay, so Bobby, do you want to go to sleep and make it light, and then we'll go and have sure. a look around. Okay. Okay. Okay, so Bobby just went to sleep while I'm coming down the stairs. And there she is over there. And if we look at our clock. There's our clock has just gone to 6 o'clock in the morning. If we go outside, we might find some monsters burning off around. Let's see what we can find out here. Um, this is an airport. If you jump up on that and hold the space key, you'll fly briefly. Uh, these are all trees that I planted. I think I might have, if I just check here, I might, yeah, I've got a sapling and I've got some uh, bone meal. Where is my bone meal? I um, thought I had bone meal. I guess I don't have it with me. Um, but anyway, if you want to plant a tree, you just dig a hole and uh, put the sapling in it. I like to do that when I have bone meal because bone meal acts as fertilizer. Okay, Bobby, let's see. Let's uh, let me move the map so I can see where we are. And we can make we can make the trip over to um, over to this place and maybe go over or, or let's go and look at the terracotta mine. That's the one thing we'll do that today. Okay. Okay. So I'll go out this way. We're already outside, and I'll take that path, and the terracotta mine is just over here. Okay, ready? Yep, and don't forget your sword. Okay, what am I holding now? A carrot. A carrot, okay, thank you. There we go, now You're I've got welcome. a sword. Okay, all right, so I've put up some, oh, there's a nice little lava pool here if you feel like a swim. Um... I'm not sure where your death chest ends up if you go swimming in the lava pool. Okay, so down the path. I have seen pillagers out here. Pillagers are gentlemen who wear funny hats and they carry uh, crossbows. And they're very lethal. But actually, they don't run very fast. So um, that's an advantage. Okay, the Terracotta Mountains are here. And this is the path that goes most directly to them. And you can see the hole in the mountain up ahead. 
So what I'm doing with terracotta, actually, yeah, you got, I've taken a slice of uh, white and gray terracotta out of there, but um, I'm trying to mine this with as little um, disruption as possible to the natural surroundings. So to get terracotta, you need uh, stone pickaxes or any kind of pickaxe. And I've got upstairs, if you go up the stairs here, you can see a bed here and a crafting table. And I've done some quaint things with the, uh, with the terracotta when I mine it. Um, I put torches up. Maybe I'll try and make one of those. Bobby, you can take some terracotta if you want. Let's see. Sure. Um, maybe I'll just make, let's see, maybe i find a nice color that I'm interested in. Maybe over here. Here we go. So I'll, I'll get some. I'll get some of these colors right here, and it's a little dark there. So I'll make a. Let's see. I'll put a, a light on one of these things so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. So I got a light on a white one there, and I'll just show you how I make the. Um, how I make the torches stay out in the. Maybe I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just take that and I'll put a torch here. It'll be it's, it'll be lower down and easier to uh, to manipulate. Okay, so I put one torch in, and then I take all the blocks around. Okay, I might as well get them up to the wall here, and I'll come in behind that. I don't want that one torch in particular. Okay, so I want to avoid that one. So let me put another torch here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so. I'm going to make this area behind into uh, I'm going to make that part of my torch is, is going to float permanently there. Okay, there we go. So now I'm getting it. Okay, so um, I think, uh, oops, let's see. Okay, this is the one that's this is where my torch is, right there on that block. Right, okay, so I'm going to take everything around that block. And now that block is standing by itself. So the funny thing is that when you remove things around um, around blocks, they sometimes just stay in position. So this is how I've made the torches here. So you just remove everything that isn't a torch and uh, it leaves the blocks there. Okay, um, let's go back outside and maybe we'll go over to the village. Do you want to go there, Bobby? Okay. All right. Sure. Did you get any terracotta? I I didn't. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, so um, there we go. So we're going back out, and you can see on the map that we're. Um, Let's see, I'll just move the map so we can see where we're going. Well, let me get out the, out the map and I'll show you where the village is. Oh, and that was blocking my way. Okay. Um, we could just go over here, I suppose. If we just... And don't forget your sword. Ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a good thing uh, I have Bobby to remind me of these things. All right, so I'm going off trail a little bit, but I'm following it on the map, and I'm coming over some very nice terracotta fields, which, uh, again, we could harvest that later. So, um, okay, so now I'm coming off the map, so let me move the map down. Oh, here's somebody's put it. I wonder if this is my cairn. Maybe I put that cairn there. I'm not really sure. Um, I think you did. Ah, okay. Okay, let me just get ourselves on the map. Okay, so we're over here. Actually, um, yes, okay. Well, we can go across to the village. Uh, the village is over here, so we can go this way up to the village. Okay. And it's 1400, so maybe we can just sleep there. And maybe we'll call that a day, because that'll be about the right amount of time. What's Keeping me from moving. Okay, there we are. Oh, I almost fell into that pit. Pits are fun to explore. 
Uh, oh, there's coal down there as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Later. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have a lot of coal. Um, so, let's see. The way to the village path is this way. Ooh, look at all the coal down there. No, is that coal? No, wow. That's coal. That is coal, yeah. Looks like coal. It's coal, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's coal. So uh, people who are watching this tutorial know where they can get some, I suppose. Okay. Here, there's another cairn on the beach. Um, and there's a torch on the other side. And you can see the village. I think, where's the torch? Torch is actually over here. Uh, that's actually the cairn I was, I should have come out on. This will take us to the path. So there's a torch over here. And I need to move the map so we can see where we are. Okay, and I have to get out of Minecraft in order to move the map. Okay, so in relation to our house, we're here. In relation to the village, we're right there. And going back into Minecraft, Okay, so we'll follow the trail up to the village. Nope, that's the trail going to another place. We don't want to go that way right yet. We'll go that way another time. Uh, the trail to the village is here. Okay. So the village, I think, is being cared for. Um, what is that? That's a, a cat. A going, cat. Yeah, they have cats. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here's the village, and um, to get into the village, I noticed it doesn't have too many gates. I think I put a gate here. Yes, I did. Okay, I put a gate there. All right, if you can't find a gate and you have a carpet, you can just put the carpet on the fence and jump over the gate. This guy's a golem. The golem is just there to protect the villagers. So, oh, if you attack the golem, oh, there's a couple of them. If you attack the golem, he'll pursue you, and um, you won't be able to. Probably, you may not be able to escape him. And there's somebody who lives up there. And I'm looking to the west now, and it's getting a little bit. It's getting near sundown there. So, as I remember, I think I made a bed. Yes, I brought a bed with me. Okay, so if you need to sleep anywhere, we can. We can uh, make a bed. What happens you? Oh, you can click the bell and it makes a noise. Okay, I don't know what that does though. Maybe that's to warn warn people of pillagers. Um, I'm not sure what kind of place this is. Uh, most of the villagers have uh, things that they they do. Um, if you see villagers around, you can. Uh, yeah, Bobby, I'll close the door. Okay, so if you see villagers around, they will, um, there's some villagers. Okay, they're going into their homes right now. They're going to bed. And the golems are keeping it pretty safe. So we could just, if, there, if the villager is in a bed already, and you, you can kick him out if you're desperate. But, um, oh, okay. I think I'll just put a bed down here and... It's a pretty safe village, so probably I can just lay a bed down and I'll go to sleep. And that'll make it morning. And I'm doing that because it's pretty safe. Okay, there we go. I'm asleep now, and I'll wake up and it'll be morning, and uh, uh, I'll go back home and I'll do some other things. But I just wanted to show you, there's my home right over there. and. I'll retrieve my bed. I really don't want to leave that bed there. Best thing to, well, uh, your fist will remove the bed. And there's, there's my bed there. Okay. Anything else that you want to do today, Bobby?